Hi all YouTube, and we're back at Bastion. Well, the river ain't coming back just by talking about it. Uh, going to a place called Langston River. And upgraded my shotgun. Cause I love. Oh, hello. What are all these? Fire shards just falling on my head. You know what? I don't care. I'm uh, getting money, and I don't know why I'm complaining about that. Riverbanks swarming with windbags. Pop. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy lodge is still from Weeping Nilly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe can she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. <clears throat> One can only hope. Or maybe not. A security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Not Nelly. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. No, I like Nelly. Don't shoot Nelly. Ow. They try to cut her off. Sit down, son. Oh, they try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though. She hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Yeah, I gotta help out old Weeping Nelly. The only lady who truly understands me. At least she picked a good spot for a break, because the core is right there. Oh, good. Oh, I want to go see what's over this way first. Oh, what's this? Oh, an arsenal. Okay. I'm going to swap out the scrap musket for... No, I'm going to keep it. Never mind. I'll swap out final warning for scraps elbow. though. There we go. Back into the thick of it. Mine. Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. They had their own eyes on the core, but why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds we can never get ready to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. Oh. He's gonna need a little help with all the pickers. Traffic things think they're king of the roofs now. Yay! The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Everybody piss off. These are my flamethrowers. Starting to wish I brought a uh, faster firing weapon. The security skiffs keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Oh, shit. Kid almost falls again. Scrap solo! Wow, that fires for days. The windbags get an even better idea. They aim to smash with Manelian splinters. Holy Jesus. That guy sent me flying. You leave my boat alone, you bastard! They don't know the kid's just trying to help. Well, maybe they don't care. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. No, not Nelly! No! Not my boat! I love my boat! She's just gotta make one last stop. With her last breath, 
Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground and pick a country. I'll never forget you, Nelly! Real bad. Scrap solo! Nope. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Kid shoes him off. No one that we bag. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the barge back there? Five times. Oh, what's over this way? <coughs> now, listen close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? I'm sure I couldn't tell you, Rux. Why did Used I go to, to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far? Oh, right, this thing. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. Nice little switch to hit. See but on going. the other hand. Some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. Then that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Oh, goody. Those things, uh... Those weird little, uh... Whatchamacallums? Weeds make you hallucinate. Cloud your vision. Making you see things that aren't really there. Okay, not really, just clouds your vision. Yeah, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, fell off. Shit! Need to slow her down. Woo! Scavenge. <clears throat> Not unlike a siren song, beckoning me to dangerous places. off you weird bird. Oh, well there goes a uh, there goes a tonic or whatever it's called. I don't know why I'm breaking this stuff, I just am. Scrap salvo Get out of here. Giant chunk. Woo! Oh, whoop. Didn't mean to chug that, uh... Whatever it's called. I forget what it is. Healing potion. Sorry if I am, uh, quite... un, uh... energetic right now. I, uh... Ooh, hello, what's this? Feather butt over here, so I can stab you full of needles. And by needles, I mean scrap pieces fired from my musket. I don't even know what all these buttons are doing. There, he's dead. Oh, okay. I fall a lot. I don't know where I'm going. Well, probably the, probably the only way I can go. But I don't know where that is. 
is. Now, getting nerd, getting murdered. I need to go find another switch. Oh, right, bring this down. <laughs> there we go. Boop. Woo. Well, no point explaining what happens next. Oh right? shit. Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. Hidebound journal. A memento, a worn book, handwritten in traditional Ura script. Amid the scrawled notes, the book contains various indecipherable scientific diagrams, drawings, and mathematical formulae. And besides, it's like the song goes. I could listen to this all day. But I'll save you before too long. But I will save you the uh, the singer agreed to return to the bastion. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow Ura again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Zaya. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Oh, Zia, not Zaya. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there, and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. And now I'm gonna put down this core. Into the monument! Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. In goes the shrine. Behold the Pantheon. A Kobe, god of oath and abandon. Foes shall have vengeance in the throes of defeat. No one bound the chastened maid save for herself. Her shackles are her own design. Uh, but yeah, each one of these uh, each one of these idols that you activate makes enemies tougher to kill, or just overall makes the game harder. But every Pit. bonus, every bonus you activate increases the amount of experience and shards you collect. A Kobe. I'm not going with either of those because that's just it's just gonna kick my ass. But yeah, that's been Bastion. Uh, found Zaya, Zia, listened to her lovely singing voice, and shot some people. Catch you next time, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want. If you don't, you don't have to, but I'll catch you next time. See ya.